Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and today we're going to talk about JavaScript data types. So uh, this is module three. After covering the JavaScript data types, we'll go into comparison operators. So when starting with JavaScript, focus on fundamental data types, also called primitive data types. JavaScript primitive data types are number. So this is used for any numerical value, whether it's an integer like one, two, three, or decimal, like 3.14. You use numbers for doing math or anything that involves counting or calculating. String is the next data type. This type is used for text. You can write a string by putting characters between quotes. For example, in double quotes, hello, or in single quotes, world. They are strings. Next one is a Boolean data type. This type has only two possible values. It's either true or false. It's like a yes or no answer and in testing can be used to assert conditions, whether you get expected results or not. The next one is undefined. This is automatically assigned to variables that have been declared, but not yet given a value. And I will show you an example of that. If you create a variable and don't set it to anything, its type is undefined. And the last one is null. This is a special value that represents no value or nothing. It's a bit like undefined, but it is used to intentionally indicate the absence of any value. Okay, so let's get into code. We're in our project. Let's go ahead and create new file. So new, let's give it 3.js underscore data underscore types dot js. Okay, so uh, first let's talk about number, right? So variable number data type, uh, anything that you need to count, if you need to show how much, it doesn't matter if it's a whole number or it's a decimal, you can use uh, that data type. So if you say let, um, so this, let's do underscore, this is a number and then equals to 25. So this variable is a number. I can also say let uh, this is a float, for example, or a decimal, doesn't matter. And let's say 314, right? Both of them are numbers. The next one is string. So string is text. Uh, it doesn't matter if a name or it's a, a name, uh, let's say text and number, still a string. For example, let name as equal, and then you can type your name here, Alex, right? Or I can say let uh, postal code, and let's say seven three nine, whatever number for a postal code nine eight zero two three four. You see, even though I typed numbers here, but because it's within the quotes, it is still a string, so it is still text. So it's just, uh, I represent numbers for a human to think that it is numbers, but actually the data type for the value being stored is a string. So it's a text, right? Uh, now let's talk about Boolean. So Boolean can be true or false. So let uh, I am learning JavaScript and equals uh, true right okay uh, or another one let i i had enough sleep today right and we'll say this is false right so it's either one or the other uh, it is very good for testing if you verify some conditions if you're going to expect in value to come back uh, does the value that come back matches what you were expecting? Is it true or false? Right. So a lot of your tests are going to be based around that. So if I don't um, give it any value, this variable here is uh, undefined. So I declared it. So this uh, variable is declared. It's just waiting for some value uh, to be added to it, right? But file console console log. Uh, 
undefined variable because there was no assignment there's no equal there's no value provided uh, right now it is undefined so let's run this file let's do node 3 tab and it shows undefined so you can have values let and var so let's say var a I'll just give it name a right uh, and you don't have to have a semicolon at the end uh, you used to have to, but now you don't, right? So let's say I'm going to type console.log a as well. So I'm printing those out. Both of them are undefined. But, for example, for constant, right, when you create a constant uh, variable, you have to declare it and then initialize it. Because if you will have a constant that is not uh, defined, it will error out because you can't reassign a constant variable, right? You remember that from the previous lesson. So if I'll try to actually go and print it out, right? Let's run it. I'm going to have an error. So whenever you're declaring a const a value, you're not only declaring it, you should initialize it. How do you initialize a value, a variable? Well, you have to assign it some value, right? Now I am initialized, right? And let's run it again. Okay, and now we have it initialized. Uh, and the last one is uh, null. Uh, so null, if you want to store something that has no value and then later on update it, for example. So let uh, this is null equals, and we're going to type in here null. So JavaScript knows the data type that the store here is null. And let's print it out. Console.log. This is null. Right. I'm going to comment all this. Uh, so to comment every every line highlighted, you can press Control and the backslash like this, and it will just comment all the lines. And print it out. Okay, and we got null. All right. Uh, so these are uh, basic data types that you need to know in JavaScript, and you will be working with all of them, almost all of them, uh, when you will be creating test cases or verifying things, uh, you will be verifying text values, you will be verifying certain numbers, uh, you can verify type of the value that comes back, is it a number or is it a text, you will be verifying booleans if something true or false, uh, maybe just undefined, you might be doing some verification with undefined, expecting that there would be uh, no value coming back or even if you want to make sure that something has no value and it would specifically assign no no value you might be verifying this uh, data type as well okay and if you ever want to check uh, the type of the value that is stored in a variable you can just write a little function so it's uh, built in in javascript it's called type of so you can say console.log and here you can say type of and then just provide um, the variable so let's do this is a number right uh, what else so let's let's actually type them all out so first one is this number the second string let's grab a string so uh, it doesn't like name so let's do first name yeah, I think it might be a reserve. So let's not type in name as a, a variable name. So let's do first underscore name. Uh, I am learning JS. Let's also do the type of I'm learning JS. Let's do the type of um, undefined variable here. And the last one, this is null. So we will uh, print out to the console type of all of those values. And let's run it again. And we're here we have number, string, boolean, undefined, and undefined. Uh, okay, so we have null undefined because I actually commented out. So let's let's bring this back up. So the line 23, I removed the comment. Uh, 
this variable now exists again. So let's clear it out. So you see if something doesn't exist and you try to get the type of value of it, if it was never declared, you'll get undefined back as well. Okay, here we go. And uh, interestingly enough, a null is actually an object, right? Uh, well, it outputs an object by design of the JavaScript. So don't worry about it. All right, that's it. Um, we're done for today. Let's move to the next uh, lesson. This is Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.